Hello and welcome to Chili Bee Gaming. I'm Evie, this is Eddie, that's Lemon Pest in the background there, and today we're back with some more Starfield, and last time we busted into the Disciples Warehouse and got their slate, and now we need to return to the Strikers. So let's get into it. Ah, yes, we came for a spot of lunch here at Chunks. That advert's very irritating though. Good God. Chunks, chunks, chunks. We get it. You sell chunks. Oh, good Lord. So busy here. So busy. So busy. Excuse me. Thank you. Okay. Here we go. Neon is home to a lot of oh. corporations. It is. I bet you'll be closing all kinds of deals. I'll try, Lemon Pest, you know. What's up? Okay. What if I just stormed into Benjamin Bailey's office and demanded uh. the job? How many Lovely. Okay. Here he is. You pull this off, and I'll be your number one fan. Well, be prepared. And be prepared to have a fight, because Lemon Pest won't have it. No use to anyone dead. There's no shame if you just walk away and go back to your pretty little life. Really? Well, guess what? I got the slate. No deaths. Huh. So you did the job, and nobody had to die. Bingo. That was one hell of an audition. So you're in. Everyone thinks the Ebside Strikers are out for the count. But now that we know where the Disciples are getting their guns, I feel the tide is turning. Okay. Um... Thought you were in dire straits? As soon as I realized that the Disciples had sniper rifles and assault rifles, I ordered everyone to go to ground. But we can't keep it up forever. All we need to be back in the game are weapons of our own. Well, hmm. Glad I could help out. Trying to score points with the boss. <laughs> Smart play, new fish. I'm not a fish. You might want to say hello to the rest of the gang. They should be friendlier, or... I'll make them friendlier. After you take some deserved R&R, &R, hit a patch for any gear you may need. And a job I got in mind for you. Well, alright. Don't stay too long on Ebside. I swear it's got its own evil gravitational pull. Have you adjusted your attitude? At all? So, you're part of the gang now, huh? Welcome, then. Don't be too put out if it takes a while for the hooligans to warm up to you. They ain't big on outsiders. Hmm, well... I would've picked you for a local. Me? No one hell no. Oh. I used to be a trader. Had a top of the line tie a flush bank account. I was at the top of my game. Then one really epic crash at the Astral Lounge and poof, gone. Bye bye. Woke up in the gutter. I've been trying to crawl out ever since. Okay, um... So what's keeping you here, yeah? The whole damn system is rigged. They rope you into the lounge and just suck your credits dry. Then, when you got nothing, nothing, you're just another junkie in Epside. No way to make credits and get out. If it weren't for the Strikers... Well, you get the picture. Yeah, um... It does sound like you've had a tough break. I wish I never even heard of Neon. <sighs> Damn. I just suck at being the welcoming committee. You need something? What do you do for the gang? Yeah, what do I you do? I have a few hustles of my own. Plus, I'm not bad at a bit of the stand and deliver. Haven't had to end too many people. Yet. <laughs> Times are bad now, though. Well... Have you kicked the Aurora habit? Yeah. Well, uh, maybe. <laughs> Man, when you're tripping Aurora, it's like nothing else. But it can eat you up. Stay clear, kid. Trust me on it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Catch you later. I there you go, Lemon Pest. Well. Really well. All right, uh, Vogel. Hey, with interest. All right. So you're part of the team now. <laughs> All right, not bad. Briggs may be in charge, but know that I'm his second. So stay on my good side, right? <laughs> um, hmm. Well, yeah, here's to a new friendship then. That's right, friendship. 
family. You're gonna do great here. Not going to lie, you've come to us during a shit time. It was not long ago that we held our own against the Disciples. Now we're just hiding behind our mother's skin. We need to do something. Ah, <sighs> well. Did you want something? Um, hmm. How did it all start with the Disciples, yeah? Everything was pretty fine, till a couple years ago. They had their side of town, we had ours. I mean, we'd have misunderstandings, but Briggs always sorted things out. Then one day, the Disciples wanted all of Ebside. It's been blood and knives ever since. How did the Disciples beat you guys? Yeah, come on. Serious goddamn military hardware. How can a knife compare to a fully auto Grendel, right? Hmm. I mean, before then, we gave as good as we got. But all of those bastards are armed. And we tried to make a stand. And after the funerals, we hunkered down. Well, all right. Good talk. Yeah. Okay, the hello. Will devour any who don't respect them. Huh. So you survived. Andrea thought Briggs wanted you dead, so he sent you away. Andrea was wrong. Yep. Um, hmm. She can join the long line of people wishing to harm me, yeah. We are more alike than I thought. Everyone is hard because they have to be. These streets and alleys are all I know. They chew up the weak, they leave them broken or dead in the gutters. So don't be weak. Hmm, well... <sighs> Briggs said you had my next task. <laughs> oh, you are focused. Good. So the job is, we let the streets know the strikers are back. We have signs. Signs that indicate our turf. Hacking the signs is easy. Getting to them or fighting any disciples there? That is the challenge. Briggs said he prefers no blood. But I say, make the disciples bleed at every chance. Um, hmm. Just point the way then. Here are three locations. Good. If you need things too, I can hook you up. It's my job to make sure all the strikers have what they need. Good luck. Well, all right, let's see A lot what you of got. The signs are high up. Be careful. Here's what all I right. Have. Always keep your eyes open. Well, I'd look a bit daft walking around with him clothes, wouldn't I? Good God. Whatever. Whatever. Okay. All right, so there's one round here. Sauvages, please. What kind of suit is that? This is the corpo suit. Because I'm technically a corpo. All right. And a rocket, look at that, look at that. Good God. Bam. Hmm. Oh God. Did you just do that? Yep. Or was it some kind of magic trick? There you I don't go. Know which is more impressive. It's the one over what this. What have okay. we here? Decided to drop by on Neon and do a little vandalism, huh? No. There's a steep, steep fine for that. Zero tolerance. Tell you what, you pay the fine now, and I'll let you off with a warning. Or well, things are going to get messy. Um, hmm. Yeah, neon security roughing up or worse yet killing a tourist is really a bad look. Maybe. But as soon as you started putting up a striker gang sign, that crosses the line. Well... Don't you realize we're on the same side here? Huh. That makes a lot of sense now that I think about it. Neither of us wants to risk the worst happening. You know how it is. Yep. That's what I like to hear. Maybe we can work something out. Hmm. 
Fine, fine. Just get out of here. <laughs> You, sir, are a fool. I had you. <laughs> Aha! You can go up this way. Jeez Louise! It's high. Very high. Okay. So, hmm, how do we get over there? Oh, okay. Uh, I know he wanted quiet, but, well... Is this fair? I think this is my silenced... Is it not? Suppressed. Even suppressed, not silenced. Never say silenced! Now you did. Oh. And now you're dead as well. Alright. Nice and quiet. Uh yes, yes, no. Eh. Alright. Okay. <coughs> Oh. Didn't realise there was another dude up here. You were very quiet. Okay, there we go. Last one. Last one. Where is that? I think that's going to be in neon, pr neon proper. What's this? Hey, look at this. Creds. Hey, hey. Com relay. Zero wire. Anything else here? Oh. Interesting, just a random little room. All right, well, let's uh, hop on down. Um, scooch down here. Yep, onto the walkway. Put the weapon away, and the world will never know. It was like we were never here, Lemon Pest. Like we were never here. All right, so this way. Aha. Okay. Ever wonder how the Crimson Fleet seems to be everywhere? Nope. It's because they have little outposts everywhere. There were so many facilities abandoned out there. There you go. Pirates use them as forward operating bases. Cool. All over the settled systems. There you go. Job done, baby. Bam. Slammed it. You're still here, my god. Take it easy. Oh, I will. Stop drinking. Hello. I think you're going to fit in well. Really well. Good. You've really kicked the hornet's nest. Good. Andrea's running point on grabbing the gun stash. I need you and Vogel to keep the disciples off balance. All right. So we're finally doing this? It's time, Vogel. The gloves are off. Both of you, keep the collateral damage down if you can. But it's do or die. Well... Hmm. I'll do what it takes to win. Like the attitude, but don't give Neon Security any reasons to go after us, okay? Alright. You two coordinate whatever you need to. I have a request. Oh. I know this is asking a lot. Newell's Goods has some armor. Not mail-spec ranger gear or anything, but... Better than the cast-off clothes the Strikers wear. So if you could, well, spring for some armor upgrades. Maybe convince Newell to sell it to us. Um... You're right, that's asking a hell of a lot. I'm not asking for charity here. Any credits it costs, I promise we'll pay you back with interest. Now's the time for the Strikers to make a comeback. Well, alright. Bloody hell. Can I get you something? 
No, I'm fine, thank you. So I have to get armor, or I can speak to Vogel. Bloody armor, really? Oh, I'll keep the credits, blow it. Where's Vogel? All right, Vogel, here we go. Dreaming of this. All right. <laughs> Finally, Briggs is going to let me kick these disciples where it hurts. I'll be telling him to let his best man loose for weeks. So thank you for changing his mind. Hey, no problem. Um, sounds like you and Briggs have history. Yeah, you better believe it. Both of us worked for that hellhole Zeno Fresh way back. I was a casualty of a reduction in force. But Paul Briggs's leg got crushed in an accident. So Zeno Fresh, being the class act they are, they fired him and later even sued him. So it was him and I on the streets. I helped him through rehab. The Ebside Strikers sort of grew around us. Well, I'm ready to go. <laughs> you are something else. Oh, I know. The plan's simple. We hit the street runners hard in as many points as possible. Maximum chaos, right? Then Andrea can waltz into their weapons, cash, snag the big guns, <laughs> and then the real fun begins. Um. Yeah, no collateral damage, right? No promises. The till's running empty. So if I happen to see some marks on the way, then the fishies better pay up. Know what I mean? Yeah. Let's get this over with then. It'll work. All right. All right. Here's three groups of street rats for you. Me and my boys will take some others. Fun time. The disciples are yep. gonna pay for all they've done. Well, all right. I hope you aren't here to cause any trouble. Oh me, no, definitely not. I'm something else after all. Okay, well, first batch is over this way, so. Are there some over here? You don't need to wear your hands. Lucky I'm not then, innit? Stupid. Oh, I don't, I don't, well, I'm not purchasing them bloody armour. That would be ridiculous. Ridiculous, that. Okay. Alright, so they're through here. Oh, God. Excuse me. I love that Neon is powered by lightning strikes. It's I have dead, I say. Shocking. Oh, lemon pest, that was awful. But good as well. Well done with the dad jokes. You're not a father, are you? Alright, bloody hell. Well. You got this, my captain. Oh yeah. Whoa! Watch the watch the public. Lemon pest, you are facing the wrong bloody direction. Any more? What? All right, there you go. Oh god! <sighs> Stupid woman. Well, collateral damage. Set the grids. They vanished. I don't think they vanished, Lemon Pest. I think they died. Uh, Turning grenades, why not? It seems our phones have made a business decision. A business decision? What? Ah, there you go. Ah. All went well apart from that bloody woman running in front of me. Oh, well, never mind. It is what it is. Collateral damage, all that jazz. Hello? Looky here. Just strolling into Disciple Turf? Yep. You're making this too easy. Am I? <sighs> Tell 
Today is a bad day to be a disciple. Be smart and walk away. Yeah, right. Why should I believe you? This isn't what you want. You had other options. Maybe I did. Yeah. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Nobody wants that. I... Uh... Yeah. Everyone, let's go. Do you know Eleven Pest? I could... I could charm the pants off anybody, couldn't I? Good grief. Okay. Excuse me. Thank you. Alright. Hello? So you're the strikers, darling. Yeah, we had those blighters all tied up until you came along. The name's Holt, and I'm here to offer you a deal. Alright. Um, hmm. Say your piece, go on. Good, you're reasonable. Well. The strikers are old news. Positively analog. You help us take out their so-called leaders, and the disciples can pay big. Credits, yeah? A dumpster full of them. Ooh. Literally, if that's your thing. Um. If the disciples are unchecked, won't things get worse in Ebside? And you give a damn about that? Why? This ain't your fight, pal. Uh, Ebside's always been about survival of the fittest. As long as the tourists stay away, no one cares what happens. I mean, oh, I do like creds. I do. But you can keep the dumpster. You do the deed, we'll send payment. Just so you know, the other disciples will be gunning for you until you take out all the strikers. So make your way to Savages with care. Body, well, interesting. Chunks, chunks. You know. Shoes, Where is this dumpster, dumpster full of creds? Just so I can, you know, you got to show me the goods. You know what I mean? Why do y'all wear them stupid masks as well? Look. Just remember to take out all Make your head look weird shaped, like a weird shape. I mean, your clothing's kind of cool. I like the funky designs and stuff. Well, then, Pest, what do you reckon? These dudes are the strikers. Well... I don't know. Leon has a lot of corruption, but little do they know. Wickedness yep. repels off you like two opposing magnets. You know where to find me. Come on, Lemon Pest. So do we have to do everybody in? Hello. The disciples are gonna pay for all they've done. Hmm. Try not to get yourself killed. All right. What about you, Vogel? Dreaming of it. I'm dreaming of this. Yeah, yeah. Goodbye. Well, what do you think, Lemon Pest? Relatively easy, that. Relatively easy. Kind of evil, yes, but... Well... I don't know. They were a gang, after all. Solstice. Watikashi. What's she got back here? Anything good? Solstice, some wine. Some napkins. Ugh, a whole heap of garbage. Quantum Edge Combat Knife. Yeah. Nothing really of much use to me. Well, never mind. What can I get you today? Absolutely nothing. We're fine. Maybe we could just wipe out the disciples as well, you know. Get rid of two gangs in one hit. 
And f by the looks of it, absolutely nobody cares. Well, apart from that dude who's... Yeah, alright. Well, never mind. You know... I would feel bad. I would. But a gang is a gang is a gang is a gang. People are always going to get hurt and killed. Unfortunately. It's the name of the game. It's the name of Neon. Yeah. Alright, let's go. Come on, Lemon Pest. We need to talk to this woman about this Ashta data. Hmm. Back in Aquila. It's actually kind of nice. You know, although it's raining, it's nice to be out from underneath that stupid lightning cover and in the fresh air. Yes. Excuse me. Here, yep. But live on your own terms. Well, that's good. I like to live on my own terms. Ah, here she is. Hello. The sensor shouldn't cause any Keone. disruption at all. I Open. checked the schematic three times. Very good. Oh, it's you. Yes. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Of course you do. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. If there's credits involved, I'm in. Really? That's what matters to you? Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, no. I don't have any credits to offer you. I just thought maybe you'd want to help a friend. Are we friends? Well, whatever. I just need someone I can trust to help me. If you change your mind, you know where to find me. No creds, eh? There might be stuff worth taking. Oh, it's you. I got the data from the seismic sensors, and I, I, I need help. Nothing that would get you in trouble this time. Promise. What do you need? I need someone to go talk to Davis Wilson. He isn't speaking to me. None of the security folks are, actually. Um, why is that, I wonder? Yeah, go on, what is it? Oh, thank you. It's really nice to hear that when others just don't seem to care. Remember the sensors you helped me set up around the city? Mm hmm Well, Davis Wilson is pretty angry about it. I suppose I should have expected that, but now no one involved with security is willing to talk to me. At all. And I really need to coordinate with them because the data I'm getting from the sensors is, well, it's off. Not what I expected at all. No. Oh. Um, what's wrong with the data? Kinda everything. The timing of the results, the strength of the signals. I did a lot of research on the Ashta before I started this project, and none of it lines up like it should. Uh, maybe your tech isn't working properly? No, the tech is fine. I never would have put it out there if I had any reservations about that. Look. I know I screwed up here. I went behind Davis's back and did what he told me not to. I don't expect him to talk to me. But this? I'm not gonna lie. It looks an awful lot like someone has been purposely messing with the system. I can't just stroll up and accuse him of anything, but maybe someone, you I'm thinking, could just ask around, see if something is going on. I'd really appreciate it. I can take a look, I suppose. Why not? Use my powers of persuasion. Oh, really? This whole city is so confusing. There's no flow. Alright, dude. He is going to be grumpy. People around here think we own it, Kiva. They're wrong. The Oscar Don't mean to be rude, but I got a lot of things on my plate right now. So unless this is important, I'm going to have to ask you to come back some other time. Well, I heard something strange hap about, yeah, there's something strange happening with the Ashta. Oh, did you now? And did that perhaps come from a certain entitled so-called inventor who's caused me no end of headaches? Um, hmm. Keone's worried about the results she's getting. Oh, is she? After going off and doing exactly what she was told not to, she's concerned now? She made my life a lot more difficult, but I don't have time to deal with that right now. I have more important things to worry about. Been tracking Ashta for a long time now, and suddenly their behavior doesn't add up. 
Probably not a coincidence. Hmm. If she's caused any problems, I'm sure she'll help fix them. Her help is likely what put us in this mess. I think I'll pass. Now I need to get back out there and get some eyes on this situation. Since you so interested, looks like you can handle yourself. You wanna join me? Uh Yeah, fine. <laughs> Yeah, I've heard more than a few hunters say something similar. They nearly all apologize for it later. Gear yourself up however you need to and meet me at the gate. We'll head out from there. All right. You know, Lemon Pest, I get the feeling that these people here are just using us as some kind of gopher again. And I am not a fan of it. All right. My shift goes along again. A girl is gonna kill me. All right. What is it? All right. You ready to head out there? Yep. As I'll ever be. Okay then. Just stick close to me. Keep your head on a swivel, and you'll be fine. We'll be back before you know it, and maybe we'll get some answers. All right. Well, let's go then. You open the door. I'll follow them. We could have taken the um taken the Rev 8, you know. I don't think he's interested in that. Okay. What are we looking for, dude? Ashta or This is what I'm talking about. What? These tracks. They're all wrong. The space in the depth just doesn't make any sense. Let's keep going. Alright. Lead the way, Capitan. So what do you like to do in your spare time? Any hobbies? No. Not much of a talker, is he, Lemon Pest? Are you with us? Yeah. Lived in Aquila long? Yes. Whoa! Clever. These tracks don't follow any of the paths I expect them to. It just doesn't add up. There's some big Looks tracks. Like the tracks head this way. Got to be some kind of super, super Ashta. Giant sized. It looks giant sized. What in the hell? This is one of our security bots. Where? Someone sent this thing out to mimic the Ashta. Why <laughs> in the world? That shit. You hear that? Eyes up. We got incoming. Oh, hello. I swear to God, I heard something. Of course you did, lemon pest. It's Ashta. Alright. Oh. I'm gonna help myself. So Alright. Oh, why did I just do that? That was really stupid. Okay. Were you Sorry, to hit best. something behind me? Uh, no, I was accidentally um, accidentally threw a grenade. Never mind. Okay, where's um, where's he gone, sir? Has he just run off? Has he just run off and leave us, dude? What the what the hell, man? I came out here in good faith. Ash the burrow. You feel him coming before you see him. Yeah. You know how to handle yourself. Uh -huh. Most times someone encounters an ash that they panic. Not you. Well, why would I? Now I got even more questions. Who in the hell did this and why? Mm. Maybe this is someone's idea of a joke? No, this almost cost us lives. No one I know would think that's funny. Someone from Aquila Security did this. We're the only ones that have access to these robots or can change their orders. Oh. I need to check this over. See if I can find some more details. While I do that, I need you to run back to the city. Check the access logs on the computer in the barracks. Look for whoever signed for this thing last. Okay. I'll meet you in the city when I'm done here. All right. 
the plot thickens and it is a thickum. Ah, beat to it. Okay, so the barracks. We need to go around to the barracks. Where are the barracks? What? What do you mean, what? Okay. Don't mind me, um, I've been sent to have a look at the old terminal here. What the hell is that? Looks like we got another off-worlder. Do you mind getting up in my grill? God bless it. Hello. Let's have a look. Patrol notes. Today's notes. A small pack of Ashta on North Ridge. Another fight at Aggies. Two people in lockup until they sleep it off. Little Miss Emily caught an actual pickpocket. Gave her a sticker. Didn't go over well. I'm not six, she said. Almost had to shoot out by the spaceport. Almost had a shootout by the spaceport. Excuse me. Not quite sure what was up with that. No one's pressing charges. Fair enough. Access logs. Robot updates. Last entry. Kirkland B. Bailey. All right. Equipment checkout. Repaired sidearm. D. Wilson. Canteen. Yep. Okay. Baton. Okay. If anyone can find Almetto's helmet, there will be a reward. It has a picture of his son on it, and it also has sentimental value. Okay. All right. So where do I find this dude? My God, y'all keep a messy kitchen. Jeez. I thought, like, you know, military and that sort of thing was supposed to be pretty sort of neat and tidy. This is a mess. A Keeler security hat. No, thank you. Good God. Are you sure you're not the prisoners? Jeez, what a what a dive. I mean, the showers are kind of nice. Why do we... Oh, close for repair. Damn. Kind of want to know. Yeah, that's definitely in need of repair. Okay. Fair enough. If it weren't for the walls, the whole town would be an Ashta buffet. Mm. Oh, hey there. Back already. Davis said something about you going on patrol with him? Yep. He's... <clears throat> he's alright, isn't he? Nothing, uh, bad happened out there. Mm. He's not going to be happy when he hears you're the one who sent that robot out there. Oh, no. Look, people getting hurt was never part of it. Davis has just been so stressed over this whole thing with that woman and her sensors, and it's been affecting <coughs> him on the job. The damn robot was just supposed to stomp around, mess up her data, and then come back. I didn't know it would rile up the Ashta so much, and it wasn't supposed to break down. Hmm, well... I can ask him to go easy on you. It won't matter. I really screwed this up. Well. More fool you. That's all I'll say. Good grief. We need all to right. get to the bottom of it. I already have. The robot's internals are fried, so I came up empty. You have any better luck than I did? Know who's responsible? Oh, hell yeah. Kirkland said she made she did it to make your life easier. Said Keone was affecting your job performance. You serious? Yep. Oh, Bailey. What were you thinking? My own people sabotaging equipment. Whole world's going crazy. Well, I'm out to go deal with this. Thanks for helping out. All right. I'll kick some credits your way. May not be much. Not made of money around here. You might want to give Miss Alpin some time to get clean data. Might be a research. Well, it might prove useful. Oh, all of a sudden it might prove useful, eh? What a change of heart. Who bloody knew? All right, well. Let's, uh, oh, 
mosey on back up into the town proper and um, see what we can see and we are going to leave it there for today folks next time who knows what we'll do but at least we've partially solved the mystery here I think we've just got to wait another day and then we can speak to Keone again and see what else is going on but until next time be safe be good and look after yourself